Hey friends, welcome to our channel, welcome inside of our shop. Today we're gonna to be talking about storing lithium iron phosphate batteries when they are not in use, and we're gonna be talking about overall battery health. Let's go. A few months ago, we decided to do some testing on different types of batteries for our solar room that fit the space a little bit better. DCG4 server rack batteries served us in the house incredibly well, and we will be repurposing them for a different project in the near future. But we obviously disconnected all of them and are storing them here in our conditioned barn. And to maintain good battery health, you need to store them in a cool, dry place. Now, cool is relative. There are a lot of different opinions out there about how to store lithium iron phosphate batteries when they're not in use in terms of temperature. And some companies say that you can store them all the way up to 10 below zero. Battleborn suggests that. And then there are other companies out there that suggest you don't store them below 50 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. For us, that temperature range is no problem since we keep it about 77 here in our barn. I have an insulated space and an EG4 mini split. Just make your best judgment and read the literature on your specific batteries for storage temperatures. And those are gonna be different than operational temperatures. Now there's sort of a controversy out there about what percentage state of charge you should keep your batteries at when not in use. And I'll go over that in a second. So when you're storing these batteries, you should store them disconnected from each other and disconnected from any other device. If you store them upright, you should safely cover the top portion of the battery so dust does not accumulate here on the front. And if you didn't know, for lithium iron phosphate batteries, you should never, ever place a trickle charger on them. Lithium iron phosphate chemistry, when stored not in use, loses about two to 3% of their state of charge every month. But I'm gonna tell you that some quality batteries will lose less than that. So if you are storing your batteries, you do wanna periodically check on them every couple of months to see where their state of charge is. And then determine if you need to charge them a little bit. And that sweet spot that every company talks about when storing their particular batteries is 50% state of charge. Now these batteries, when I disconnected them, were at 100% state of charge. And it's been several months since I put them out there and we are gonna check that state of charge here on camera. But Will Prouse did a great video showing that when a battery is at 100% state of charge, it will degrade a tiny fraction more over time than if it was at a little bit less state of charge. That degradation was tested at a room temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, but it was a slight, slight difference than other temperatures and other states of charge. So when I stored these, these were at 100%, and I'm going to take their state of charge down just a little bit. And I'm gonna use our portable power station for that, the EG4 3000 EHV. This is a handy item to have on hand no matter what. If you're using it to power loads in your house, your barn, it doesn't matter. I've got this one for our portable, and if you haven't seen that video, click at the top of the screen. But again, this little thing is handy. Let's check the state of charge on this. Okay, let's check the voltage and the state of charge on this EG4 LL version one battery. I'm gonna just turn on the BMS. I'm not gonna turn on the breaker. And look at this, we have to look at the voltage as well, but our state of charge is indicating 99% at 53.3 volts. You're really gonna to have to look at both of those because of the charge curve of lithium iron phosphate batteries. Let's take a look at some of the other ones I've got sitting here. We're gonna turn on the BMSs for these batteries and check them out. Again, oh, 100%, 53.3, 53.2 at 100%. You can see how they vary a little bit, 53.3 at 100%, and 53.2 at 99%. Now, according to this chart right here, 53.3 volts is sitting at roughly about 85% state of charge and a fully charged lithium iron phosphate battery at 100% should be at rest at 54.4 volts. So technically these did lose some of their capacity over time just sitting here. And that's why you really wanna check these batteries and maintain good health on them if you're storing them for a decent period of time. But today, what we're gonna do is actually use a heat gun and take these down to around that 50% state. And I'm aiming for about 52 and a half volts 
for each of them. So I'm going to power on the breaker for the battery and then turn on our inverter. And that should give us power to run our heat gun. And our simple battery indicator on here that shows a rough state of charge has three out of four bars. So you can tell by this that its state of charge is between 75 and 100%. But that voltage is gonna be more accurate for us. We're gonna run our heat gun for about an hour and a half at its max of 1200 watts. That should be a total of 1800 watts or 1 1.8 kilowatt hours of capacity that we're gonna take from this battery. And that should get us down around the 50% mark. The last thing we're gonna tell you about these batteries is never, ever store them at 0% capacity, or they are never going to wake up. The BMS is going to go into protection mode, it's gonna shut down, and you won't be able to turn the battery back on. Or you'll have to jump through a lot of hoops and go through a lot of pain to try to get the battery to start back up and to charge it. So it's really simple maintenance to maintain the health of your batteries when they are not in use and not connected to anything. We hope this has been very helpful information for you. And if you're interested, down in the description below the video, we do have links for these products and a coupon code for $50 off. Now go check out this video right here, which talks about this cool new battery system that's very transformable and fits in some really tight spaces. Have a beautiful blessed day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.